Open innovation improves innovation performance. Would you agree with this statement? So far, the empirical evidence has been mixed. And what we do know is that not every firm benefits equally from tapping into external knowledge in the innovation process. Now, let me go one step further, suggesting that open innovation contributes to competitive advantage in product innovation. And now, arguably, this might be even more difficult to achieve, given that externally accessed knowledge is typically also available to competitors. I will shed some light on this statement by providing insights into organizational processes that help to explain inter-firm differences in benefiting from open innovation. I will also provide some empirical evidence that open innovation can indeed contribute to competitive advantage in product innovation. And finally, I will show how this effect is contingent on a firm's multiple components of absorptive capacity. As a senior researcher at the Group for Sustainability and Technology at ETH Zurich, I'm interested in how firms manage and transform the innovation processes and models. Already throughout my previous affiliations with Maastricht University and the University of California, Berkeley, I've been investigating how firms can effectively translate openness in innovation outcomes. The question of open innovation effectiveness is crucial. This is because knowledge and competencies related to product innovation that were traditionally developed internally are now increasingly accessed from a broad set of external parties. And so given this investment in external knowledge sourcing, it is essential to understand whether it actually contributes to competitive advantage. So does open innovation lead to higher product effectiveness and higher product efficiency compared to your competitors? And to answer this question, I use absorptive capacity as a theoretical lens. Both open innovation and absorptive capacity focus on how innovating firms can effectively use external knowledge. As you can see here, absorptive capacity consists of three components. The capacity is to recognize, assimilate, and exploit external knowledge. These abstract components are embedded in organizational processes. So take, for example, assimilation capacity, which is captured in terms of coordination, integration, and knowledge management processes. The underlying measurement items provide concrete organizational activities and systems. So does your organization have a reward and incentive system for actually utilizing external knowledge? Does it have a system for searching, analyzing, and filtrating external knowledge? Then your organization is likely to have a higher level of assimilation capacity. In a set of hypotheses, I specify how these components of adoptive capacity are associated with external technological resource access. That is my measure of open innovation. And then ultimately, how these components are associated with competitive advantage in product innovation. To test these hypotheses, I collected original survey data from a sample of 119 firms that are registered on Exnovate. Exnovate is a European network of excellence for open and collaborative innovation. Analyzing the data using partial least squares, that's a structure equation modeling technique, generated some interesting findings. As shown here, external technological resource access has a significant positive association with competitive advantage in product innovation. This relationship is fully explained or mediated by superior technology capabilities. So this means that it is not external resources per se, but it is the transformation into superior technology capabilities that then allows firms to benefit from open innovation. Now let's see what happens if we take into account the multiple components of absorptive capacity. First, recognition capacity increases the quantity, quality, and diversity of resources that can be accessed for new product development. Second, assimilation capacity strengthens the relationship between external technological resource access and technology capabilities. But not only that, the results show that an above average assimilation capacity is a necessary condition for firms to be able to rear benefits from openness in terms of superior technology capabilities. Third, exploitation capacity has a direct positive relationship with competitive advantage in product innovation. Independent of the quality of externally shaped technology capabilities, recombining and exploiting external resources in new applications boosts competitive advantage in product innovation. Let me come back to my initial statement. Open innovation contributes to competitive advantage in product innovation. So yes, I provide some evidence that openness can be translated into superior technology capabilities, which in turn contribute to competitive advantage in product innovation. 
However, I also show how this effect is enabled, contingent on, and boosted by firm's capacity to recognize, assimilate, and exploit external knowledge. I also unpack the organizational processes that enable the components of absorptive capacity and help to explain why some firms are better able to benefit from open innovation. So let me finish with a somewhat counterintuitive insight. Rather than moving externally, the sources of competitive advantage in an open innovation setting move deeper inside the firm to the internal organizational processes that allow a firm to recognize, assimilate and exploit external knowledge. Thank you.